this is Victor's 2.5 star path with our 3 star uh, bard with mention attachment. Let's do this. Woo! Gluttony bard! Okay, start summoning. Grow my. Uh, let's reroll once. Epic! Nice. We get one mana gem, so bard comes on technically on turn 3. Everyone comes one turn early. That's what it means. Because we have one extra gem. So we have this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah, we actually pretty good, good curve. One, two, three, four. Perfect curve to be exact. Not like we can play anything for one mana though. Because we start from turn three. Super. Okay. We play this guy. Actually, I could have played that. No, I should have played that. Then block this. My bad. Unnecessary damage to face. Sucks. Okay, first game of the wait. First game in Battle Champions. Not first game of the day. This. We're gonna go wide, yeah, because because why not? And we'll take this guy, challenge that guy. There we go. Okay, making less mistakes now. After making one mistake right at the start, okay. And the one mana is super. Look at how fast we are growing anyway. So. Can play this guy. We can block that. His life still will save. Oh man, we're getting a lot of life still. Heal back to full. This is one of the best, fun, uh, funniest part of playing Bard Squad. You have so much life still capability. It's ridiculous. We're gonna, we're gonna absorb this guy. Let's see which one we got. Uh, four seven four seven. We take play this. Absorb this guy. Give life still to our Bard. And spell shield. Uh, I'll sacrifice this guy. He levels up here. He takes life steal and spell steal from that guy. And overwhelm, of course. There we go. What a great way to start. Yeah, the one extra man is gonna help us a lot. Especially in the Azid fight. That's the one fight that matters. I guess. So far, so good. Uh. I will take this. The reason I'm taking that is because it helps us draw and after uh, once uh, Bard levels up, we don't have to worry about anything else. Just keep on drawing. Okay, free attack is not that bad. Leona is also pretty good. Yeah, I'll take Leona. Holds the ground down for us. Solitary, Adaptive Run. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, let's go to the item side then. All of them suck. All of the pit stops suck. Items with the decent one. We can attach an item to one of our minions. Minions. Units. One, two, three. Okay, we start from three. I keep forgetting that we start from three, so we don't need to keep one man and do one and stuff like that. She's Fury. Nice. We gave it to one unit that we were gonna play this turn. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, everything is set to two five. Oh, forget. I forget. Yeah, but these becoming 2-5 is pretty good. Hungry Owl Cat coming to 5 is pretty crazy. So this is a slow game, this path. Everything, everything, any, every unit you play is gonna become 2-5. So everything is gonna be slow. So you don't have to worry too much. Uh, we should play Leona. The stun one. The good thing about Bar Squad is we want it. The game to be slow. Get that guy dies, unlucky. But they are losing units. So we go wide and play Liwana's spell and we find. I mean next attacking her. We can't play Bard yet for obvious reasons. So we we'll activate this. Level up uh, move. Move towards the level up of Liwana. That sucks. With this guy. So we can challenge that girl. We play slowly. You don't have to trade into them non-stop. Party's next turn and the following attack turn we'll just play this. Raban is here. Oh, we'll play this. So long, city of progress. Play this. And next turn we'll play uh, Leona's champs spell. Okay. Unblock that, block this, block this, block this. 
There we go. Can't block the Lucifer. Fun. The rest of them we can block. Now we'll just play uh, Leona's Champ spell. She's 2 by 4 And there we go. This should uh, level up Bard. And a lot of things are gonna activate on the board. Stuns, right? Yeah, double stuns are activated. This should fix everything up. Let's trade it like this, trade it like this, swing, swing. She's always leveled up. She will level up next turn, probably. Yeah, when we play her upon, she's gonna level up. Lahavun. Charged up and ready to go. Now we can play a jump bark spell. Should we replace this? Level uh Le Le Leona will level up. And then we can play bark spell. Okay, super. This place copies of the thing. Let's uh, use Bard spell and see what we can get. Three, six, nice, super. How <laughs> cat? Look at how how cat. A seven nine owl cat. Yeah, we don't have to play anything. And we'll get the champ spell again. I will activate the thing again. I do it at burst speed. And the one person we'll absorb is actually Leona. Because Leona is the only one on the board that has overwhelm. Leona gets absorbed. Bart gets overwhelm. Yeah, nice, nice. Super. So we have to look for the power that gives everyone overwhelm. Overwhelm is the one vital thing for Bart. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, holy shit, we got this. This is pretty crazy. I will take it, I will take it. Actually, if I get opponent, then this becomes point. No, it's six. Turn six. Uh, turn six is pretty early, if you think about it. So, item is bad. Item attachment is what we are here for. Okay, quick attack, quick attack. Mighty Poro. I will give this Mighty Poro. It gives us a unit. A defensive spell, spell that gives us a unit is pretty good. We use it to shut down their unit, uh, shut down their key, key win condition, and we get a unit for that. I'll take it. Uh, I'll throw these away. We don't need them right now. Actually, we can keep this Solari though. We turn from uh, start from turn three. We can play these two together. The defensive turn though. Let's see what they do. What did they get? Elusive. Can't really challenge that one, by the way. Yeah, can't challenge that one. It's a four five. It's packing stats. Can't even play anything else by the eyes to that. So might as well absorb the dude. What do I do? What hmm. don't I do? I'll absorb the dude. Wanna arm wrestle? Me. Nice. We played elusive elusive unit to block that. We don't have enough mana to mini morph. I would have mini morphed his ass. So we'll just do this. Take the mana, go next. Actually, not take the mana. Start developing. Put more chimes in the deck. Nice. Body is 14. We'll play Solari. Stun. Swing. Solari. We got our um, Yusuf. So we will. Bard is 14. Give more stats to this guy. Bard levels up. Uh, the Ia will die. Asmus will die. But he will be okay with it. Because Bard can defend now. Let's see if we can live, uh, get few stats on him. Asmus, I mean. Oh, one stat we Asmus would have lived. Unlucky. 
It's fine, you can block it at least. You block one of them. Oh, damn. That's sucky, sucky, sucky. Oh, shit. He takes all the keywords, they grant me all keywords on the allies. So she's gonna get elusive as well. Okay, we challenged this girl. And there was highest damage on the board. Let's block that guy. The reason I'm blocking this guy is because he's giving an ignition every turn. And ignition is static phase damage, which we don't really want. They're not even using their ignition. Okay, so we have that. Now we want to play this first. Then play winning light. Like this. And full swing. He got elusive. Swap stats. No! Oh, he got hit by Spelcher. Nice, nice. AI mistakes. I'll take it. Nice. Super, super. Forgot that the Spelcher absorbs skill. Nice. We took a lot of damage though. So uh, he gives my uh, thing. I'll take it. Let's see. We have 200 gold. Obviously, shop. Not a good one. Oh, legendary! We'll take it. Grant my units plus one, plus one. And then run. Right. It's not. A, it's not. It's actually probably the worst uh, powers to have against. This is the toughest fight in the path. Azir, no joke. This fight is beyond ridiculous. Because we are attacking. We play this next turn to block uh, stun the thing, right? We're gonna play these two for this turn. Let's play this guy first. Let's see what happens. The open attack, we let that go through. We play this, trade into that. This dies. And by us. Um, we play this Solari next turn. Uh, stun Azir. Oh, our units grow. That's very good. But got hit. We did that. We stun. Bart has challenger. He's gonna challenge us in next turn. We gotta close it. Nice. So we can play Solari against this guy and kill them. This also does the same thing. Sand soldiers. Okay. Sand soldiers gonna be traded here and gonna see me. We'll let it die. We will keep this for a defensive turn, not an offensive turn. When they're gonna summon a bunch of sand soldiers, they're gonna use it to survive. So that's why we're not using it. Bard got lifesteal, super. Bard is almost leveled up, 9, 1 stat. We should be leveled up this turn. Because of the every turn, everyone gets plus 1, plus 1, that contributes towards Bard's level up. Yes, yeah, super, super. Yeah. Let's see what they get. The 6 mana one. Okay, no. The 6 mana one is the most devastating ability in their squad. This is one of the worst. Ooh, that sucks. Expected more. Okay, pass. Why would they pass? You should have just attacked right? Um, we'll just full swing, absorb the outcat. We still beat them, nice, nice. Yeah, super legendary power for the win. Yeah, the legendary power helped a lot. Pushing the stats up. We're super. Attack for free. Attack for free is not that great. Stat lines on Bard is pretty good. I think about it, yeah. I'll take stat lines on Bard. Let's see our power. What we get. Allies 3 costs are Lark. How many 3 costs do I have? Actually, a lot if you think about it. Except Bard and Leona, everyone is 3. We'll turn all of our units into Lark. Pretty crazy if you think about it. Okay, red bat time. Yeah, everyone's Lark. This should be fun. We'll trade these. Actually, I could have kept. Uh, yeah, actually, Solar is not the worst card to keep. Even they're, they're attacking right now. Let's see what they get. We have two epics in our squad now. 
epic powers, I think. One legendary power, one epic power. Okay, they have someone uh, formal copy, we block. Hopefully they will stun that one, this one, not that one. Ah, super unlucky. Okay, they play that, we play this. That has quick attack, so that sucks. Oh, that sucks, yeah. We're not gonna block that. You play a bar. Step the bar, nice. That's one we wanted. On front, that's the one. We're gonna take absorb life steal from uh, that guy. We play this, like absorb life steal. He's gonna start healing for us now. Now we just need to get region on him. Yeah, it will be very difficult for them to kill us now. I mean. I mean, they, uh, sooner said than done, but I see it sit soon, soon, right? Sacrifice this here. Get going slowly. Bottles build up. I think we play as uh, must put more chimes, draw one, play it slow, and sacrifice units for left and right. So many. Uh, play this. And grow our stats on the board. Oh, damn it. It's fine, we can take damages, we're not too worried about that. Good face off. Block like this. Block like this. Block like this. Yeah, so you can block. It's fine. They got a spell, but we're okay with it. The greatest spell, but we're okay with it. Hopefully, nothing stupid. Uh, it's turn four. Who's? I think over overdue. Not last one. Solari stun and double uh, these stackers. Actually, we don't have a double stacker. Yeah, we don't have a double stacker. We can play this. They yeah, will grow on the board. He's gonna go for this probably. It's the spell that they made, right? Damn. Okay. For a second, I thought they're gonna aim. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They were gonna aim my units. Okay, if Salaris hits this one, she survives. Uh, Esma survives. Uh, there we go. Nice, nice, super. Yes. Eight by three. Eight by two. There we go. We put it on Bard. Bard has overrun. Uh, who has challenger? Six six. Take this guy out. This should be fine. Bard has overrun. That's why we're putting it like that. Yeah, look at Bard. Bard's 29 life, 27 life still. There's no way they're gonna go damage to our face. This damage is gonna stick, I mean. Gonna burn that one. Unlucky. Gonna take our stat. Gonna take that stat, okay. Fine, we're gonna play Solari and uh, stun it. They already take stats. Oh no, they take keywords as well. It's super scary. And same drill, if we hit Ismas, he survives. No, he doesn't. Unlucky. He does it. He did, I mean, he did a great job. Yeah. Oh, one damage to everything. Still so going to slide right. We play Stony. Yeah, Bart should finish the game off, he's saying. So we won't play anything because they can actually stat change and take uh, our bar stats. So we have to be wary of that. We will do this, this, double draw, buff everything on the board and full swing. Thirteen is thirty-eight. Cards now start holding. Look at this guy. Fourteen, thirteen, eleven, ten. 8, 9, okay. Full swing and finish the game, yeah. It doesn't matter which we play. Bard's gonna finish with the overrun. Unless they got stun. Okay. They can't transform our champion. There we go. 46 lifesteal. Super. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Games are super fun with Bard. Like, absolute clash of stats. I think I'm gonna give more to this guy. Win drawn costs one less. This drawn grant an enemy plus one plus one plus three. 
there's a chance to play, be played for 50 percent for free i think quick attack solari is much better solari is doing some crazy ass work in my opinion round start rally i'll take it in will attack everything is crazy R random keyword i'll take it what is this slot pot spell might as good might as well go to spill we don't have the money to buy anything else what look at three four rares one legendary one epic swimming in good powers this game okay so we can play solaris is our defensive turn we're attacking every turn oh, never mind keep forgetting that we play this blocks that And play this. She solely gives two stat lines. Oh no! Should have waited. Yeah, solely gives two stat lines to the person on the right. Bard's turn. I think they, I don't think we're we'll gonna play bard. Yeah, probably not gonna play bard. Lose six, eight. Yikes! Did that? Did this? We don't have to play Solari right now. Solari dies to that guy. Everything on the board grows anyways. Yeah. Party's at 1420 already. Ah, sorry. Uh, gone. We are part. Nice life super. There we go. We'll absorb it. Hit lurk. Bard levels up and with life still sitting on the board. Will wait him. Oops. And um, yeah. Uh, less damage. <laughs> Three damage to face. So he's getting for two. He has like a <laughs> spell chill as well. Okay. Bot spell is here. We play our double uh, starlight. I know Ch Bart's champion spell is there, but we don't need it. I my box. Hope that yeah, we should do it. I'm sorry, even more. But a yeah. He is so difficult. He's like a very big version of Victor. Consume and grow. Ah. It's not a copy of. I will reuse my reroll. Here, some is fine. What is this? Ah. Give him fearsome, it's fine. Invoke. Can you play? Summon a random champion of my cause. I will take it. Let's see. <laughs> you never know what champion we get. Four mana is not actually that bad. Okay, we heal for nothing. Okay, so this is the big uh, Victor boss fight. The 2.5 star Victor versus our 3 star bard with mention attachment. Let's do this. We have one legendary, four rares, one epic, and three commons. There is some high level packed powers. Okay, we'll throw this guy away. I need only one of these. It's fine, I'll keep both of them. Just we need just challenger and challenge Victor when he comes to the board. He's turned four, right? Yeah, he's turned four. So we play this guy. Play this guy. Already two chimes here. Full swing. He has life steal, so we're just gonna give that to Bart. It will be very difficult for them to fight us. We are the boss, actually. We have more mana than them. Okay. Now there is no break. Yeah. That. I we play this. Oh, Bard is challenger. There you go. Bard levels up on turn four. <laughs> this is super crazy. Just absorb them here. Yeah. I'm still as nice. Quick attack as well. Nice. Crazy. Okay, so we play. What can we play? So this is uh, yes turn. Victor's turn. So we definitely don't want a full swing. See how smartly they're playing. Okay. Not a problem. We're gonna absorb as much as the, the 
The reason why we're absorbing as much is because we need elusive to block the elusiveness that comes out of that deck. Now that Bard is elusive, <laughs> look at his. This look like an arsenal right now. Take that. Um, we play our Leona. Breaks of spell Let's see what he gets. Impact, we just... We won't absorb anything, we'll just swing it like this now. Bard has been turned into whatever he need, was needed to turn either. Oh, he didn't... Oh shit, he didn't have... Oh yeah. Overrun, that's dumb. It's fine. There we go. Answer to me. Super Bard. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Oh, he absorbed the thing. Thirty-one, twenty-nine. Yeah, there we go. Super. Let me bark. Yeah, this combo is very good. After changing the second attachment. Okay, so two point five star Victor done with our three star part. Yes, nice. Champion attachment talk time. So the two attachment I have on Bard is kill my supported ally and grant me its stats and keywords. And grand, uh, the Grand General's counter plan is basically every turn, every round start, you get a copy of him. So he turns, as you get a copy of him in hand, he turns into this, which you get every turn. If you have free mana, like the power of free mana, you can actually play it every turn, which is crazy. And one attachment is Savage Shield, which gives him plus one, plus three. Moving on to the powers, yeah, we have a lot of good powers today. Okay, so rare power, whenever you summon a card, it gets a random keyword. Round start, we rally, meaning we, we are attacking every turn. Anything that costs three or less will turn into a lurk. Legendary power, every round and every unit on the board will get plus one, plus one grand permanent. Uh, game start, we get a one extra mana. Uh, this is Bard's three star power. Whenever you summon uh, a unit with buff stats, granted two random keywords with three can, uh, with another can random keywords, every unit coming on the board is somewhat uh, three gets three random keywords this bar start parts two star power uh game start you get one extra mana and this combines with this so we are actually starting from turn three on turn one three mana on turn one uh, when you draw a card uh, with chimes on it you plant more chimes in the deck uh, game start you draw your champion this is uh i believe champion uh, level 20s power and you game start you heal for two that's about it Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Do let me know in the comment section of which videos you want next and out of the four new champions, which one should I unlock? With that being said, have a great day, take care and catch you next time. Bye!